Westside student is going to remain in custody until his trial begins. Jeremiah Thornton is accused of sexual assault and he's being held without bond. New at four, John Chapman was in Douglas County Court this morning when the teenager appeared before a judge charged as an adult. You have the right to be represented by an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one may be appointed for you free of charge. 15-year-old Westside sophomore Jeremiah Thornton wasn't listening to one of his teachers this morning. Instead, he was listening to a Douglas County Court judge reading him his rights. Prosecutors have accused the teenager of forcing himself on another student. Prosecutors allege the crime happened in the school building during the school day. A 14-year-old victim reported being sexually assaulted at Westside High School by the defendant. The victim reported that while in the stairwell with the defendant and the co-defendant, the defendant backed her into a corner, grabbed her waist, and bent her over. The defendant then became more forceful and pushed her down to the floor, pinned her down, and forced her pants off while the victim tried to pull them back up. Prosecutors the told the judge the victim struggled and was yelling and saying no. Prosecutors also allege Thornton had someone watching the door while the crime was being committed. The co-defendant was present when this happened, but was watching the door as a lookout and didn't do anything to stop this conduct. The victim immediately reported being sexually assaulted to the school. After waving Miranda, the defendant eventually admitted to penetrating the victim. Thornton's attorney told the judge the teen had never been in trouble before. Your age and lack of criminal activity definitely work in your favor. Unfortunately, given the crime that which you've been charged with, Setting a bond at this time would depreciate the seriousness of the crime, so I'm declining to set a bond at this time. Prosecutors told the judge Thornton's mother believes her son can continue classes online to comply with the no-contact order. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Thornton was ordered not to have any contact with the victim or the victim's family. He has a preliminary hearing date set for January 12th. The second teen allegedly involved will face accessory charges in juvenile court.